So the other day I heard a quote and it is build positive habits and let positive habits build you. So that brought me back to my childhood in wanting to create something better for me as well as, you know, something to encourage me to get out there and get open and do something outside of my comfort zone that I wouldn't normally do. So that's something this year that I've made a top priority to set a new goal for myself to venture out and try new things, build new communities, build new relationships with people. It is Javan Hiker, aka The Glute God. I am one of EHP Labs LGBTQ athletes. I actually came out when I was 14 to 15 years of age. It was strictly pretty hard, but it was fairly easy in my case because I was surrounded by such a positive group of people. So the next thing I decided to do was probably not the best, but I had written a Facebook page in, I guess, to finally come out to everyone, close friends and family, and it was, it was probably one of the best and one of the most, I would say, good things I could have done for myself at the time because I was so young. I am now turning 24, turning 25 at this stage. So it has been a little bit of a long time, but in order to write this post and posting it, I got a lot of good feedback, but I also ended up getting a lot of, I could say, negative feedback too. So one of them who didn't really know and actually found out was my mum through the Facebook post where I had come out and I was at work that day. And it was sort of a shock when I got home because obviously coming from her point of view, she was very, I would say upset that I hadn't told her, but it was kind of a good and bad thing because it did lead to obviously us having a few difficult times, but at the same time, it brought us closer together. So yeah, just like my best friend. Going through this journey, I found a self relief of going to the gym. So after high school, I took a gap year off from high school just to see what I wanted to do with my life and I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do so I ended up doing a little bit of retail work found out that wasn't for me and then I was at home for like six or seven months and my mum got a little bit hoha of me at home so around about 2018 I ended up getting my first full-time job in the logistics industry ended up loving it because I love being physical and active in that case, I still had a lot of men mentally built up emotion. And so I ended up getting my first gym membership. So that was a little bit of a, I guess, a little bit of a self relief. I would call me time. So I would always go to the gym, not just for fun. I really didn't have a structured program or any nutrition plan that I was, you know, I think at my second gym membership that I had with a gym I ended up consulting with a PT and because I've always wanted to I say compete in the fitness industry I didn't know what I didn't know why I just felt like I just wanted to go on stage and I felt like I had a purpose I ended up competing and I placed second in my first division I ended up placing third in my second division and I ended up placing fifth within all of Victoria so <laughs> after the prep and I still had a body and I still wanted to I guess be something other than you know as well as an athlete be someone who could you know aspire other athletes or in the LGBTQ community to look up to so I thought you know what I'm going to continue with this I'm going to see where it leads me so yeah um I ended up doing a lot of fitness model modeling but at the same time I still wanted to be you know something else so I wanted to be um something or I wanted to do um, something within the fitness community that you know our LGBTQ athletes as well as normal athletes can look up to um, to be like hey if he can do it you know I can do it too and so um, you know prepping through COVID was hard but if I can do it anyone can do it but also other than that anything you you know put hard work and effort into you can you know accomplish anything so I think that's the good thing about you know having a mental strong mindset is that you know anything is possible and um yeah it's just crazy to see once you're outside of your comfort zone what you can achieve 
How I came to find EHP Labs was I had just started out at the gym. I had no recollection of supplement brands and pre-workouts and proteins and what was good for me, what was not. Um, I ended up finding that I was a little bit, um, my stomach didn't agree with certain foods and certain drinks and dairy and blah, blah, blah. And it's just, um, I had to find something that was good for me. First time I had actually tried EHP Labs, um, I ended up buying a passion fruit flavored Oxytread. And um, I had one scoop, tasted amazing, um, went down really well, it gave me a good pump. So I ended up sticking with that brand. Um, that was around about 2014, 2015 too. So that was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so I've stuck with them ever since and yeah, to this day, I haven't stopped using their, you know, products. Um, so, and not to say that I am an EHP athlete, it's crazy. So, that's something I never thought I would ever accomplish, let alone work with them. So, that is a big stepping stone for me because it's like a pinch me moment. It's like the Nike of the shoe brands for me working with them. So, I think that's pretty cool um, to, yeah, say you grow up and always wanting to work with a supplement brand or a brand in general that you've looked up to and now you get to say you, you know, you're a part of that team or collaboration. That's pretty tick for me off the bucket list. So yeah, so I feel like now that as an EHP athlete, it is um, so cool to be a part of such a team and such a group of um, encouraging people, athletes um, that, help spread the word for equality for us and to get behind the brand for Pride Month is an amazing opportunity, not only for me, as this is the brand to be around to celebrate as they are such a big wide community, worldwide based as well. I love that we get to celebrate and incorporate us and to celebrate us as the LGBTQ community as an individual for Pride Month, so I'm very proud to be an athlete to be advocating that for them.